What's up, Gunplum Modelers? This is Strutter Prime, bringing you a new edition of Gundam Model. And today, I am going to work on these two little parts. These are the G-Frames FA-01-47A and 47F. The G-A-T-X-102 Dual Gundam Assault Shroud Armored Set and Frame Set. And this is also from the Gundam Seed Animated Series. This was the fourth version of the kit that was being sold under the FA line, the first set that they uh, released. Um, for a recap of what was in that set, we had the Freedom Gundam, the um, uh, Gundam NT Alex, and the uh, new Gundam, but it also came with the two wings instead of a uh, two uh, funnel set instead of one. Now I've already built all except for these two, the last two, which is the um, the NT, which I'll leave that for later. But now I'm going to open up this guy. And as you can see, it's partly open. It's because I was actually prepared to do this as an unboxing and build when I was on vacation a few about a month ago, more than a month ago. But I didn't somehow I had the time to actually open this up and show it to you guys while I was having a nice cold beer. Still, I think it would be a good time to open it. Well, now it's partly open, but time to work on it and build it. So, we're going to begin with this. Now, I have to say that I have never built either the high grade version or the master grade or any versions of the assault shroud during the time of Gundam C. Not that I didn't like it, as I said, never, never appealed to me. However, it is a very, I've heard many, many uh, good things about the kit. Especially in its assault shroud version. I don't think we're going to be seeing a kit like this um, when the or version of this when the movie comes out next year. And then there's that other version that came out during um, Stargazer. Now we're going to build the static version, of course. I know that Gundam Planet is selling the Buster for about close to a little less than forty dollars. So if you guys are planning to start with some seed kits, maybe go over there and get it. That's a good price. I'm trying to figure this out here. Okay, so. You go here. And then you go there. And of course, the shoulders are different. That goes there. goes here, that falls off. There we go. The back booster pack. And then the head. There it is. Very nice. Uh, one of the gimmicks is the opening up of this, but let me see if it works. If it does, I thought it, I thought it was molded into the arm, but I guess not. Oh, it's 
also parts forming so you don't have a full uh, ability of bringing it up and down all the time um, was there something here also? I believe so there is a hole here for an attachment of the weaponry that's actually part of the other set but this is what it looks like which is pretty nice of course the legs are left to not the best you could say but that's cool Oops. Uh, I'm noticing something I just noticed it now hold on let me just put this back on stay there um, no soda flavored chewing gum Usually it's on both boxes. And I don't see it on the table. Wow. I've been ripped off. Hopefully this one has it. Oh, there it is. You know what? It may have fallen off and I've probably eaten it. Because it wasn't inside the bag in itself. Okay, let's readjust the camera again. Here are all the parts that I believe you can make it the normal version. Which in all the furnace maybe I should have not taken out of the bag. But uh, I've uh, made my bed. Now I gotta sleep in it. Unfortunately, this, is, this does not give you the instructions to visually see it. You have to figure it out on your own. You can use a hobby knife if you want. Well, you can pretty much use your hands up to a point. Also next week, um, the hobby show in Japan is being announced, and we're going to be seeing a lot of new um, announcements coming down the road for Gundam, and obviously other brands and things like that. Uh, I'll, I'm planning, I actually am planning to do a live broadcast of that, of, uh, of the show. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing a broadcast on my channel for a long time. I haven't done it in a while. I thought it would be a neat idea to do so. So you go. No, that's that. No, that's that. Darn it, I forgot how we did this. Oh. Hmm. <sighs> OK. 
coming in good in there. Am I doing this wrong again? is not right, so it has to be this way. Yeah. Now I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Now that's that, but there was a part here. Oh yeah, it was this one. These were the joints. Um, no, not too big. Um, uh, somebody was asking me, have I seen the announcements of, or like the leaked images of what the, um, supposedly freedom, I'm going to put this on here, the freedom and the justice version is going to look like. Um, I quite honestly don't want to say anything until we officially see the correct images. Get in there. Thank you. Um, so once it is officially shown, um, then I will say something. It says, unfortunately, I don't want to say anything. Only, uh, well, the leaked images is blurry. It is weird. It is reminiscent to previous, um, previous, um, um, Gundam seed kits, how its overall design look was, and then obviously you're, you get updated versions from real grades, master grades, and all, and all that, but it's just that it's way too early for me to say anything. The new um, Metaverse, um, Meta Universe, or whatever the hell it is, mobile suit model kits are coming out soon, and the anime is going to come out soon in October, so... Yeah, we'll be focusing on that. That will be uh, the topic of discussion with the new Law Gundam and, and the um, other mobile suits that right now I can't think of at this moment. But I have a distinct feeling that the Law Gundam. belong to that. I have a distinct feeling that the Law Gundam, um, if Bandai follows its standard track record, I wouldn't be surprised if there's going to be another uh, 2.0 kit coming out, but in Law Gundam format, in, in, in its overall design look. I mean, that would work, right? I was trying to get my hands on the aerial version of this, but it was already too late. Put 
This one goes here. That one goes there. Here. There's the movable, movable frame. Now, I didn't realize, of course, that you have the option parts to give it the standard version, but I am not going to use that. Maybe later on, but not now. Is it the front thigh or the back thigh? Didn't notice until now. There we go. No, I gotta take it out. Come on, get out. Get back out. The back goes here. Or is it the other way around? Yeah, like that. That goes like that. Alright, there we go. And then. Based on the guide. So yeah, we, we have these two parts if you want to keep it like that and put it without the side armor, but we're gonna put the the armor on. So this has to go first, then this over that. Okay. Makes sense. Then I gotta take this foot off. And then put these on. Somebody just sent me a comment on, on I don't know why, I think it was on Instagram or Twitter, saying, dude, you're, you built too fast, slow the F down. And I go, you know what, I'm, I, you may be right. However, I'm not going to slow down. So, yeah. Get in there. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna take this off, take that off, take that checks off. 
Yeah, I think the, the hardest part is the legs when you build these guys. And then, of course, the waist suit and all that stuff. without me realizing it. There we go. Okay. Then that one goes here. That one goes there. This is the, I believe, the back skirt. Feels like it. Yeah, because it's not turning. So that goes there. The front skirts are the ones that turns. Come on, get in there. Alright. Let's try that again. There we go. Much better now. Let's work on the arms. That's easy. And then there's the fists, or hands, which will hold up a weapon. No beam sabers, unfortunately. Only, um, only certain Gundam kits from this line will have a beam saber. there. That one goes there. That one goes, oops, here. Then we have the shoulder with the missile pods. Go there. Then the shoulder goes here. And then the head. Unfortunately, let me see, can I put the shield on this? Because I am seeing that you can put the shield on it. Um, 
on the armored part, but I don't see where because there's no hole here. Unless we remove the armor. There's no connector or hand grip anywhere. Kind of defeats the purpose of this. I guess you're going to have to remove the armor. And actually, that's a good question. Is the... Is the Master Grade version allow you to hold on to the shield with the armor on? Take off and let that plane fly overhead, messing up my audio. Well, I put this on. This one, there we go. There we go. It's a little wobbly. get the, the orientation right. I'm, I'm not going to be able to point the gun up, so I'm going to point it down for now. There we go. All right. Hmm. There you have it. The G-frame Salt Shroud Gundam, full armor, or FA, from the Gundam Seed animated series, is now complete. Yeah, it is a neat looking kit, I have to admit. I've seen so many video builds of people working on the uh, Salt Shroud Master Grade. Um, Maybe one day, if I see, see the Master Grade, I'll get it. Or maybe even the High Grade. But, it is nice. I do like the orange and, and pastel blue type thing. I mean, for me, I would probably do, paint it a different color tone also. But, it is a nice looking seed kit. Yeah, this is bringing back memories from the show. I do remember this. Don't know why I never got got these kits in the first place but it is what it is it is what it is so <clears throat> thoughts are get it if you're a big seed fan if you see it at you know any store like Barnes and Noble or, or maybe Hobby Lobby I would not pass it up you're not gonna get the gum but that's no big deal you do have these extra parts which quite frankly I'm not interested in taking it apart just to make it look like the standard version. So they'll be put in the bat in the box and put away. And I'll be chewing this up in a few moments. With that being said, I'd like to thank you guys all for watching this neat little build of the Assault Shroud um, Dual Gundam Assault Shroud from the G Frames FA line. And uh, what can I say but stay tuned for more Gundam models yet to come. You guys all have a great day.